If you're looking for a dashboard to help you get organized, get all of your services up on one page, look no further because Dash Machine is here. Hello everybody, it's Jeremy. Welcome back to another video. Today's a great day. I uh, just wanted to mention really quick that we broke 100 subscribers on YouTube. We're at like 115 or 116 as of right now. And I want to thank you for coming along for the ride and joining me on this NAS hosted journey. Uh, I created a subreddit just yesterday for NAS hosted. It's just NAS hosted. If you want to jump on over and follow along, I think it would be a great place for us to kind of have a little community and discuss NAS hosted services together. Today, we're taking a look at Dash Machine and... If you're looking for a place to put all of your self-hosted services into one place, Dash Machine is definitely a great solution for that. We're going to be installing that on our Synology NAS in Docker. I do have an article up on nashosted.com right here. You can see that. If you prefer an article, there it is right there. Uh, we're also going to be installing this on a, another Linux box with Docker and a Portainer web UI. I think we should just go ahead and dive right in. Okay, so the first thing you're going to want to do is pop open Docker and go to the registry and type in Dash Machine. And you want to grab the R mount joy. I'm going to grab the develop tag because this is going to have all the latest and greatest goodies in it. Uh, now keep in mind the develop tag is kind of like an alpha so you may see some bugs and if you don't if you want more of a stable version go ahead and grab the latest tag we'll let that download and we'll be right back so it's done downloading let's go ahead and double click or you can click on the launch and the first thing we're going to do is rename it to just dash machine and click on the advanced settings and make sure enable auto restart is ticked and for a volume we're just going to add a folder within our docker folder go ahead and hit create and type in dash machine. There it is. Make sure it's highlighted. Click select. And for this, we're just going to have to pop open the Docker hub and we will mount this right here. So it's dash machine slash dash machine slash user underscore data. And we're going to put that right in here in the mount path port settings. Since DSM already uses port 5000, we're going to put it on port 5055. That's it, we're going to click apply, click next. Make sure run this container after the wizard is finished. Click apply and spin it up. Here we go. The next thing you wanna do is just open IP of your NAS or server. Then that port we put in, which is 5055, hit enter. And you're gonna be brought to the updated version 0.6. It's gonna have the change log with all the cool new features. And make sure you click red or this is gonna keep popping up. So click that, go to login and your default login is going to be admin, admin. Sign in and this is it. So it's gonna be blinking down here in the right corner saying, hey, you can add some stuff here, but let's change this to dark. And we're gonna do a blue accent. Let's do blue, click save. Oh, so much better. I love the dark stuff, you know that though. So let's dive right in and add our first card. Let's close that. Click on the little plus sign down here in the bottom right corner. And I'm going to do a pre-configured app. I'm going to search for Pi because I want to add Pi Hole. And yeah, since my Pi Hole is not on a secure link, it's just local. We're going to change the prefix. And my Pi Hole is right here. So I'm going to grab this link just to the IP, leaving out the prefix. And then we'll paste that right in there. Everything else looks good. The description, I'm gonna have this open in a new tab, not this tab, because I don't wanna navigate away from the dashboard and everything else, I'm just gonna leave the same. Then you click save and there's our first card. Congratulations. So if we were to click this card, it will take us into a new tab with our pie hole because that's what we set it up. We set it up to open in a new tab. And that's exactly what it did. Dash Machine makes it super easy to add applications with the pre-configured applications. You just go in there, you click in the search bar, and this drops down with all the pre-configured applications. And these are all templates that you can use that are already built in. So this means that you don't have to go in and upload all of these images for all of these different services. That means if you already have one of these services, you just click on it and add it. All you have to do is add your details and you're done. Okay, so I wanna go ahead and jump into the next part of this video, which is installing Dash Machine on a different machine using Docker with a Portainer interface. So let's go ahead and do that and then we'll finish up the setup process over there. Let's go. So here we are in the Portainer web UI. This is actually installed on my HP Elite Desk 800 3G. 
This is what that looks like. Very small footprint machine. Very small. It's a powerhouse. It's got an i7 with 16 gigs of RAM. It's only got 256 gig uh, M2 drive, but that's okay. You don't need a whole lot of space for this anyways. And that is actually running a Proxmox with MX Linux, which is this machine right here. So you don't need much to run this, just a small VM. So let's jump over to Portainer and we'll add the container. We're gonna jump to the Docker Hub, copy the image name, go back to Portainer and we're gonna paste that right in here. Give it a name. We're just gonna copy the dash machine, paste it into the name and we gotta give it ports. Dash machine ships on 5,000, so we're gonna put that in the container. And then for our host, we're gonna make it 8088. You can make it pretty much whatever you want as long as the port's not in use. Now we're gonna jump down here to the volume. So this is a part you gotta really pay attention to. It says you can mess something up pretty easily here by misspelling stuff. It's pretty simple for the most part. We're gonna do the same thing we did in Synology. Go to the Docker Hub page. We're gonna grab that, that mount path. Go back to Portainer and that's what goes in here. Paste it in there. And on our machine, I'm going to put this in my home directory in an app data folder that I created. I'm going to create another folder called dash machine. You got to remember this path right here, slash home, geeked, app data, dash machine. This will be different for you, but this is what we're going to put in here to mount it. We're going to come in here and we're going to paste that right there. We're going to go to restart policy and click unless stopped. That means if something interrupts it and it stops, it'll restart. And then we're good to go. Click deploy the container and it's up and running. Next thing to do is to test it out and see if it worked. But I'm going to make sure those files are in here first. And there they are. There's all the files that are part of the application. Hey, there it is. We already saw this earlier. Now keep in mind this is 0.6 because I didn't use the dev tag. This is just the latest. So we'll go ahead and click red. Go to login. Do your typical thing. Admin, admin. And you are good to go. One cool thing I want to show you about this dashboard is the ability to transfer your config file from one setup to another. For example, this is the config file for my current setup, and I'm going to go ahead and transfer it over to this one by going into the settings and just pasting the whole thing in here, clicking save. And that is how easy it is to transfer this over and go to dashboard. And there's everything there. So you will notice that it looks a little different than this setup. That is because this is using the dev tag and this one is using the latest tag. So I do think things look better on the current version that hasn't been quite rolled out yet, but you can still play with it by using the dev tag. So keep in mind, you're going to see this sidebar over here on the latest version, whereas the dev version, it has this that you got to pop open like this. And I think this looks much better. Let's take a look at what it looks like on mobile. So this is what it looks like when you first log in to Dash Machine on your mobile device. Uh, all the icons are pretty large, still looks really good, but what I like to do is click this side menu. Everything's nice and compact, all your groups. You can see everything here. Let's check out Pi-hole. Super easy to get to, looks great. And you can even edit the config file right from your phone. Keep in mind, I'm using an iPhone 10 XS, so this is pretty large, but to be able to do this from your phone is absolutely amazing. Just a very nice, responsive design. A job well done from the devs over at Dash Machine. Thank you so much. So thankful for this application and a big shout out and thank you goes to the dev for creating this and always rolling out new updates. This is a very active project. Check them out on GitHub, follow along. If you guys like this video, consider subscribing. Give me a thumbs up, leave a comment, check us out on our new subreddit over at NAS Hosted. If you guys want to, check us out on Discord. All those links are going to be in the description below. Thank you so much for watching. Until next time, see you guys later. Bye-bye.